I'm Mano, and this is my good friend Dylan. I'm Dylan. Today we'll be talking about uh, strategy games, namely chess. We'll be playing chess today. Um, what are some other uh, strategy games? Some other games that I included is Hearthstone, Magic, Pokemon, and Yu-Gi-Oh. All right. Where can we play most of these games? Uh, most of them you could play at a local comic book store because usually they they hold tournaments of people who just love to play the game, or you can. Uh, Play online and see if there's any events that are going on that people play online. Or you can just play online for fun. Okay, cool. There are multiple platforms that they have for people who want to play the card games, but more online. Mm -hmm. And if you do want to play in person, you do have to get the cards yourself. So... Which does come at a cost. It does come at a cost, but it'll still be very fun. And later, towards the end of our episode, we will be interviewing... Spencer and Nate from the podcast Old Games New School. Uh, be sure to watch the rest of the video to see that. Here we have our chess game. Uh, I'm playing white pieces, Reno is playing black pieces. I'm not very great at chess, so Reno wins pretty easily here. He's pretty good at chess. And chess is a really old game. Um, it takes a long time to get really good at it, a lot of, lot of practice. Um, it's debatable if it's an eSport, it's not really classified as one because it's more played in person, like with a chessboard and actual physical pieces, rather than online. But it can of course be played online. Uh, we're using the website chess.com to play right now. I believe chess.com has ranking systems, Rina? Yes. So with chess, there's not that much of rankings, it's more or less you just try and get the most amount of points, and the higher up you get, the less points you get. For winning, but the more points you lose for losing, just because they want to be as accurate as possible. So you should win the majority of your games in order to gain points. So you can win three games in a row, and if you lose one game, you lose all those points basically, just because how hard it is to get your points up wow. later on. That is why it takes a lot, a long time for people to get grandmasters, because they'll get competed against other people who are the same LP or player points. Is LP player points? Yes. Okay. It's just Called LP. Board. And so, what what is Grandmaster? Grandmaster is when you basically win ninety eight percent of your games and barely ever lose. You got the whole games that you play. Okay. Takes a very long time to get to. Uh, not many people are, are Grandmaster at all. Uh, what are some other? Are there other ranks, or is it really just Grandmaster and nothing else? There are other ranks, but they're like common ranks that you would name other stuff. So. Not They're not like super important, but they're still fun to have. It's kind of like intermediate, that kind of stuff? Yeah. Okay. So how long have you been playing chess? Uh, I've played it since I was a kid. Uh, I don't play it really competitively, and because I just don't like playing with random people online. Mm -hmm. Just more casually? Yeah, I like playing with my friends and stuff, usually. Mm -hmm. uh, if you play chess a lot, though, you can get really good at it. One of the best ways to get better at chess is just to play against yourself. I mean, that is pretty boring. That sounds pretty boring. Yeah. It is really boring, but if you want to play, like, not in a sneaky way, you just want to play with the best possible moves. Because when you play against friends and stuff, you want to try and, like, just trick them. But if you're playing against yourself, you can't possibly trick yourself. So you just got to make an impossible scenario for your opponent to not be able to get their king out. So it would be a checkmate. Okay. Are there any real strategies to chess? Or is it kind of just... There are what happens, happens. Uh, at the beginning, there are multiple strategies. One of them's, uh, I don't really know the name of any of them, but moving your horse is one of the most popular picks. And also moving along with your bishop is really good picks. You never want to start off with your queen or your rooks though, just because the rooks have like, no mobility, it would be caught out easily. Okay. And your queen, if the queen goes out, usually that's m much more of a gamble. But also some people like to do queen trade, a clear line to the other queen, and since your queens will always be like uh, in front of each other, if you kill their queen and then the king kills your queen, then you just play the game without any queens. Then it makes it much, a much more interesting match. If the opponent has a queen and you don't, you have such a big a disadvantage, it's going to be pretty hard to win. Okay. And so what are all the names of the different pieces? Uh, the ones in the front are called pawns. So those are the little tiny ones, the smaller ones? Yeah, they don't do that much, but they're always a threat on the board, so you can never ignore them. Mm -hmm. Because that they present, prevent most of your plays at the beginning of the game, because there's so many of them, and they can kill anyone. 
along with everyone else. Uh, knights, they the horses. The bishops, they usually forgotten or not like that oh, much. Are those the uh, diagonal ones? Yes. Okay. They are actually very beneficial though if you know how to use them properly. So you should try and use them in your gameplay. All right. And what about those, the ones that kind of look like castles? Oh, those are called rooks. Mm -hmm. You can call them castles or rooks, no one will mind either way, because <laughs> they look like them. Yo, they just move in a straight line? Yeah. All Usually right. you want to use them to get rid of all the pieces. And then the king and the queen. Uh, which one's the king and the queen? The king is the one with the little cross on their head, Okay. and the queen just the normal crown. Alright, and the queen can move anywhere on the board, right? The queen can do anything the bishop and the rook can do. Okay. But not the knight. Interesting. And uh, one of the worst pieces in the game is the king, actually, because he's so limited because you can't put him in any dangerous situation. Yo, and he can only move, like, one space, right? Yeah. Okay. And if he dies, it doesn't matter if you have any other piece in the game, and all they have left is their one pawn, but if they get you king, then you automatically lose. Okay. Now we're going to be talking about this the segment we were talking about earlier, which is old games, new school. And this is their cast right here. I'm Nathaniel. And I'm Spencer. And would you guys like to talk about your topic for a bit? Our topic, or...? The podcast, basically? Yeah. That you want to... All right. Our podcast is mostly about describing the history of video games and what really matters and what makes a video game. We also usually banter upon our favorite parts of uh, the specific topic that we talk about on in that episode. What games have you guys done so far for your episodes? Um, we haven't really done games. We've done more of features for video games, but one that we kind of talked about a lot is Skyrim. Um, yeah. So what do you guys know you talk about in the topics? Um, what was the first episode about? Uh, the first episode we did was, uh, I believe, his actual history. The actual history of video games, where we went over, like, the first actual arcade machine. It wasn't exactly you know, a video game, but... Where it started. It was it was kind of a math game. Like it's it's called Nim, and it's a game about picking groups of objects, and it, it's a bit complicated if you didn't if you weren't able to see what it is. But one, once you're able to see what, the, what it is, you'd understand a little bit more. Okay. Okay. And later into the episode, we went on about uh, the first uh, actual video game, which needed to be played on. A uh, computer that was the size of a large vehicle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was and scary. What game was that? I believe it was um, space. It was something space themed. Yes, it was definitely a space themed game. That's what most video games were back then. Yeah. I know what you're talking about. But I just don't remember the name. Yeah, it, it slipped my mind. It was so long ago that we recorded that. Mm -hmm. yeah. And our second episode, we went over. Um, it was supposed to be map design. But <laughs> it got turned. we talked about map design for the first, like, three minutes. And then it went to Skyrim. Th oh, then okay. it, it, it hit Skyrim, and we just kept talking it about was, Skyrim. It worked, though. It was actually It's really got a good map. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Skyrim's, it's a famous map. You say, like, a random Skyrim location, someone will go, I know that. Yo, it's yeah. game I'll look again. Yeah. Definitely revisit it for its 10-year anniversary, just to, like, live back those 10 years. It's been 10 years since Todd Howard ruined my life. <laughs> <laughs> Do you guys have any like competitive type games? That you um, play I play Rocket League a lot. I mm -hmm. it's got a competitiveness built into it, but I just take it casual. And another game I play that would be considered competitive is Pokemon, but that's not. It's hard to get into the competitive scene of that. All right, how about you, Nate? Uh, I've I've played a lot of Rocket League with Spencer here, but it's never really been like good gameplay. <laughs> it, it's more been. Really I'm messing around Spencer, and yeah. making him and his brother mad. No, <laughs> you're making my brother mad. I'm the one who laughs at it. And other than that, I've played a little bit of League of Legends, but okay. beyond that, cool. nothing much. Your honor, death. <laughs> <laughs> and that concludes our episode. Don't forget to check out Old School New Games. Old Games New, new School. Old Games New School on... Creative Communications. Uh, where do you guys post your podcast? Uh, it's on Spotify. It's on uh, Apple iTunes. It's it's literally anywhere. It's a podcast. All right. Don't forget mm -hmm. to check out the Old Games New School podcast on Spotify and YouTube, other places like that. Just follow the Creative uh, Communications. You'll see us around. Yep. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs>